Players and coaches always talk about a one game at a time approach. The last couple of days, some of your players have acknowledged that you talk about the NCAAs. How do you balance the big picture and the one game at a time? Well, I mean, we've been talking about the NCAA since we got here last year. A lot of good that did us, but um, you know, you want to have a program that that's the goal of your team is to compete for a championship. Um, so that's been our approach, but the obvious question is how do we handle a road game against the team we're supposed to beat? You know, if we can't take care of those challenges, we're wasting our time talking about going to the NCAA tournament. What have you seen out of Nick Brown or Nick Moore in the last month in particular? I mean, he's getting better every day. Um, it's not hard being a point guard, you know, for me and the expectations we have for our guards. But um, he gets better every day. He competes hard. He's trying to do the right thing. Um, it's obvious I don't think we'd be as successful as we've been without his contribution. Are you saying being a point guard under Larry Brown is easy? Did I hear you say that? No, I didn't say that. Okay. I mean, I the ex it's, it's difficult, you know. You can ask Eric Snow. The nice thing is you, you have Eric around, and, you know, Eric's heard all the stuff I'm telling Nick. And I think Eric's a pretty good buffer for me. Coach, are you surprised how quickly you've had success here? I mean, just in your second season? I, I don't look at it like that. You know, I uh, I thought the team last year played well. And the kids got better. Um, you know, I, I thought we'd be better this year because we had a good, you know, terrific recruiting class and good transfers. And I was hopeful that the players that played last year would improve. Um, but, you know, we knew we were going in a tougher conference, so I didn't know if our record would reflect our improvement. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not really worrying about that right now. The, the, the goal is for us to be in a lead program and um, just got to keep building on that. Well, and obviously, I mean, at Kansas, you turned it, or, you know, you had a championship caliber pretty quickly. I mean, is that. But what do you credit to that type of success, especially at the college level? It seems like, you know, just within a few first few years, you can get them. Well, I, when I went to Kansas, you know, we had had two, lo they had had two losing seasons, but we had quality players there that Coach Owens had brought in. Uh, and we just, uh, we just try to coach them up and make the players better. And I think I had I think I, I, we had the same objective here. You know, Matt left us some good players. And, but this is a great school, and it's in a great conference, and it's a great city, and there's enough talent around here that, you know, if you do your job and get the quality kids, you can compete with anybody. Um, you know, getting Keith was a big step for us, and Sterling and Ben, and now with Emmanuel coming, I. I don't see any reason why we can't be a great program. How much do you think the venue can help? Or I mean, obviously, a, you know, Poly Pavilion, Allen Fieldhouse here. I mean, what is the venue a big selling point to you as well? Or oh, it it obviously helps. I mean, uh, you know, but if you don't have a good team, all you have is a beautiful building. I mean, uh, but I'm. I'm happy about this because it turned out great. It didn't lose any of its charm. And the people that come to the games, you know, can really be involved. Uh, it's, it's been much better than I ever imagined. But the best part about it is, you know, the students' involvement and the fans. That's, uh, we don't beat Connecticut, we don't beat Cincinnati without you know, the support we got from our fans and our students. And we got to build on that. We got to make this place, you know, difficult for anybody to come in and play. Anything else, guys? You mentioned the fans and, and the impact they've had. Marcus Kennedy was talking about Philadelphia fans being sort of a special kind of fan. You coached in Philadelphia. How are the fans in Philadelphia different than the fans you're creating here? 
I don't know. They they love basketball there. They, they might be a little bit more difficult on the visiting team. Uh, you know, Eagle fans, Sixers fans, you know, the Philly fans, they, uh, they can get pretty demonstrative and say some things that maybe are a little hurtful, but they mean well. I, I love the fact that I was coaching there. I enjoyed that that attitude. I mean, they, they were great for the home team. But the one thing that I think Marcus will probably tell you is it's a basketball city. You know, they got the big five there. They got the Sixers there. They got great high school basketball there. So they're knowledgeable and appreciate good basketball. Marcus was saying that he expects to get it maybe worse than the other teammates because he left one of those schools. He left Villanova to come down here. What kind of reaction do you expect to get? I'm not really concerned. I love Philly. You know, I had, I had a great time there. It's, it's one of the highlights of my career, you know, being able to coach the Sixers. I, until recently, I still live there. I still have a house there. So I'm not concerned about that. And I think, I think the Villanova fans might be upset with Marcus. I, I think all the other people would be pretty happy.